ಮಗಳು ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಿ ಅಂತ ಅವಳು ಜ್ವರ ಬಂದು ವಾಮಿಟ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ತರ್ಟಿಲಿ ಅವಾಗ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟ್ಲ್ ತೋರಿಸ್ದಾಗ ಶುಗರ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂದ್ರು ನೈಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಡೌನ್ ಆಗ್ತಿತ್ತು ಪಕ್ಕದಲ್ಲೇ ಮಲ್ಕೊಂಡು ಎದ್ದೆದ್ದು ನೋಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತಿದ್ದೆ ಸ್ವೆಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ಲು ದರ್ಟಿ ಬರ್ತಿದ್ಲು ಅವಾಗ ನಾನ್ ಬಿಸ್ಕೆಟ್ ತಿನ್ಸಿ ಚಾಕ್ಲೇಟ್ ಕೊಡ್ಸಿ ರೆಡಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದೆ close endocrinologist friend think that she couldn't manage her uh, diabetes despite giving lot of insulin she was having repeated high very high levels and then going into a hypoglycemic attacks so we decided she is a candidate for combined kidney and pancreas transplantation as she was on dialysis two times a week diabetes is the leading cause of kidney disease all over the world and even at manipal hospital diabetes accounts for more than 50% of the patients who have had kidney failure and are either on dialysis or have received a transplantation there is a unique form of diabetes called type 1 diabetes which usually affects uh, younger children and unfortunately causes all the ravages of diabetes very early in life in fact tejas when he you know, her dad uh, died at very young age because of uh, type 1 diabetes and her Uh, condition was so severe that her kidney was damaged at the age of 14 and she was on dialysis for the same when i first met her uh, the first question she asked me was with when can she go back to school after uh, she get this transplantation done she is a brilliant kid and uh, she couldn't go to the school because of the dialysis and overall her uh, health the only hope for her was to have a kidney transplant but it doesn't solve all the problems because her original disease which was due to type 1 is not cured that's the reason we as a team uh, including both our surgeons urologist and our pancreas surgeons dr ravichandran gautam we had a discussion with the family we had told them that best way to cure the disease that is type 1 diabetes is pancreas since she was already on dialysis she also needs a kidney transplant she luckily got a organ from a donor young donor with a good you know pancreas and it took about 6 to 8 hours to do this transplantation so kidney pancreas transplantation can be technically very challenging especially in small children because the space in the abdomen is limited and we have to implant two new organs inside uh, and that's what makes it technically complicated so we were able to achieve this by a team effort wherein uh, the gastroenterology and liver transplant team did the pancreas transplantation whereas the renal transplantation team took care of the kidney aspect of the transplantation so the way it works is the pancreas is transplanted first because that is technically more demanding and once that is uh, in place and the pancreas starts functioning then we do the kidney transplantation and she co- recovered very well and uh, she was extubated next day and she was conscious oriented and uh, it's a miracle that the next day itself the sugar levels were normal she is currently off insulin off dialysis and she is feeling much better additionally i would definitely want to speak about tejaswini's mom who is extremely dedicated person being a single mom she went through the entire process uh, probably with a smile and i would say all the success we could probably ascribe to her namanna me nee enu ko edruko beda ma naan idini nin magalalla nan magalu anta nodkonde dhairya kotru amma magalige oskara ivattu varku nan genu tondre maadi nam doctors namanna ella support maadta ma mane family ne support maadta ma oskara so what is important is that even though these diseases are serious with the expertise that uh, our institution has they still can have a good outcome as we see in this lady not only in this lady there are many other people who have more than one organ failure there are a lot of people who also develop kidney and liver failure and we at manipal also have the expertise to do a dual organ transplantation like a kidney and liver and we have had success stories there too welcome dr vishwanath dr ravi chandar ಸುದರ್ಶನ್ ಬಳ್ಳಾಳ್ ರವಿ ಸರ್ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅವ್ರಿಗೋಸ್ಕರ ನಾನು ಟ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಇಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ನನ್ನ ಮಗಳ ರಕ್ಷಣೆಯನ್ನ ಜೀವ ಉಳಿಸಿರೋದ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಟ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಇಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಬಂದಾಗ ನಮ್ಮ ಅಮ್ಮನೇ ನಂಗೆಲ್ಲ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ನನ್ನ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ನನ್ನ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ನಾನು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟಿಂದ ನಾನು ಮೇಯಿಂದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ತಗೋತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಾನು ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಬರೀತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಮಣಿಪಾಲ್ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ಗೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಹೇ